Okay, so here's a uh, reverse breakdown of what I got going here. Um, basically what I did was get rid of the analog gauges and replace it with uh, this LCD screen here. Uh, right now it looks a little rough because I've been kind of tinkering with it a bit. However, uh, just to give you a fundamental uh, idea of uh, how to do this, uh, first you have to go to a junkyard, obviously, and, and pick up a, a replacement uh, gauge panel. Okay, I, I picked this one up for about 10 bucks. Now, <clears throat> you want to disassemble it, measure out exactly where your screen goes. I, I used a, uh, this is a Lilliput 7 inch uh, non touch screen LCD monitor, and it's powered, and the video is all ran through this uh, micro USB uh, port right here. So you don't have to run any VGA, you don't have to run any type of uh, component, any of that. Now, back, back to the, uh, the instrument panel itself. Uh, what I ended up doing to make room for the screen, I cut out all the plastic here in a square. Um, you can use either a Dremel tool or a uh, die grinder, which I used. The die grinder made it really, really easy with a, with a cutting wheel. Um, if you also want to add a little extra something, uh, you can put some Indiglos in, which I, that's what I did. Um, <clears throat> another thing that I, I want to touch base on, uh, this little Denso chip here, you have to, re you have to put the one from your, uh, your original instrument panel here. Okay, this thing just snaps in place. Um, reason being... You'll get about 20 minutes down the road and realize that your alternator's not on and you're running off of just your battery and you will be stranded pretty quick. Also, uh, you want to make sure that your battery indicator light is hooked up because that, that will also cause the same problem. Um, <clears throat> doesn't really matter if it's a automatic or a uh, manual transmission. I know that they have different uh, patterns as far as the the actual gauge cluster goes. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Now what, what I'm going to do right now is make a cover for my screen. Okay, so that you don't have all this this white area here. And I'm also going to make a couple little spots for my dummy gauges, my check engine light, and my blinkers. Uh, those are basically the only ones that I need. Um, I'm going to make another gauge or dummy light panel to go where my clock pot is later. So, I got this eighth inch acrylic uh, plexiglass here. And this right here will be perfect for covering my, uh, my screen with and filling in the gaps. And you're probably asking yourself, well, that's clear. You can still see through it. Well, what I'm going to do is for all my dummy lights, I'm going to put one of these stickers. Uh, measure it out and put it on the on the back side of the plexiglass, and then I'm going to measure out a perfect square for my LCD screen, and I'm going to paint the black back side of it black so it'll have a nice gloss black finish, and it'll also have little holes for where I'm going to mount my my dummy gauges. Okay, as you can see. Um, I've cut out a piece of this plexiglass here. I, I left the plastic film on so that I can draw on it um, without affecting the, the actual plexiglass and to keep you from scratching. Um, right now it's perfectly square, but what I'm going to end up having to do is trim about a quarter of an inch outside this line here. And then after that, I'm going to have to grind this lip on the inside uh, an eighth of an inch. That way my plexiglass will fit right on the back side here um, and still have enough clearance for my screen so everything will be able to snap back together. Okay, so I use the router to get a rough edge of where I want the, uh, the plexiglass to get cut. Um, it fits perfectly on the back side here. And also what I've done is ground down the lip an eighth of an inch. So to give me clearance 
when I put this all together for the plexiglass to sit right on top there. What I'm going to do now is take this, uh, this sanding disc, I'm going to put it in the router, and I'm going to edge off uh, what I just made with the plexiglass. Okay, uh, I have my plexiglass cut out to where it will fit. Now what I want to do is do an outline of my screen. Okay, because that's the part of the plexiglass that won't get painted. And then I'm going to figure out exactly where I'm going to put my stickers for my dummy lights. Okay, uh, like I said, the only ones that I really need on this instrument panel are my blinkers and my check engine light. Okay, and you can tell from underneath the plexiglass here, um, you still have access to those lights. Okay. And later on, I'm going to uh, show you how to cut out little tubes out of foam to place in there, and then you paint them white. And it will reflect the light straight through my little dummy lights that I'm going to cut out of my, my factory instrument panel. Okay, so I've taken, this is the back side, what's going to be facing the screen here. I peeled off the plastic that goes around the screen, or that goes on the, the protective coating. I left the protective coating on the other side. Uh, I'm not going to peel that off until I'm done with my install. But I've taken the little stickers, and I've lined one up for my engine light, and one on either side for my blinkers. And then I've also measured out where my screen's supposed to go, and I have masked that off. Now what I want to do is take this acetone here and wipe the plastic portion of this. Uh, what that does is it kind of etches the plastic a little bit, and it allows the uh, black paint that I'm going to use. I'm going to use a flat black Rust-Oleum, and that allows the, the paint to actually uh, uh, stick to the uh, plexiglass. Okay. As you can see, I have uh, painted uh, the back side of the plexiglass black. Um, as you can see, you know, the, the protective film is still on this side and it is, uh, uh, it looks a little scratched, but once you peel off that protective layer, it will be gloss black and it'll look pristine. Okay, so now I have to, I have the task of removing my selected uh, lights here. Um, I'm going to cut out my service engine soon light and my left and right blinkers. These are the only ones that I'm going to need uh, for right now for this uh, particular spot. Uh, I was actually thinking about doing my brights but uh, I'm not going to need that. Okay so I've cut out the three indicator lights that I want to use and I have included them in my custom bezel here. Now of course you, you know you see it, it looks a little rough but once it's installed you will not be able to see the edges of it and shouldn't have any problems with uh, scratches. It, it'll be nice and uh, nice and good. <laughs> Be perfect. Now, another thing that I'm going to do is uh, put another uh, coat of uh, uh, another coat of black paint on here. I'm going to secure these these three indicators, and y you could tell by shining it to the light that there, there's a couple little spots that need to be touched up. But other than that, uh, very good results. Very good.